Okay, so my name is Mira Melkara and I'm from Tripoli, Lebanon. Of course, I did research. I'm reading a lot about Oscar Niemeyer, about modern architecture. And that's how I ended up like uh, deciding to do a tour in uh, this fairground. Uh, the purpose of the fairground uh, was to... Because, you know, it was... Um, it was the time of Fuad Shahab, it was the 60s, Lebanon was booming and there was a lot of work in the urbanization and uh, modernization, a lot of work in uh, uh, you know, putting more money into social work, into uh, education. So one of the things that were done also during this time was to try and develop the whole country. It was mainly Beirut, Beirut, Beirut. So they decided that, oh, why not? We can do the International Exhibition Fair in Tripoli because um, it's, uh, it's the second largest city. It has a good port. It has a lot of space. They decided to, um, to get Oscar Niemeyer because at the time he was the trendiest modern architecture in the world. So he was invited to come and uh, build or design this uh, exhibition fair. And he came in 62 and he stayed for two months. Uh, to design uh, the space. There are 33,000 uh, meter squares of uh, reflective pools. So basically most of the constructions are somehow floating on water. And that's the beauty of it. That uh, most of these buildings can see themselves on the water as if the water is a mirror for these buildings and these buildings or constructions, they become somehow narcissistic. These arches went up, up, up and it gives a lot of freedom and air and, you know, you know, space. This space is like a phantom space. It's, it has no function in a way or another. So look, if you go like, like I'm doing backwards and you look at the view, you know, like slowly you're discovering the space around you. It's amazing. You know, it's a whole, and this is what he wanted. He wanted to stimulate emotion. He wanted us to feel the space more than to look at it. Okay? And of course you have the majestic grandiose arch, the gate to get in the theater. He is so like inspired by, by Rio de Janeiro, by the mountains, by the rivers, and by women and their curves. So he talked a lot about femininity in his architecture. So this is one feminine, one feminine form, apart from the all, all the other feminine forms that we can see everywhere. Because, you know, modern architecture was very masculine in a way because it has angles and it has, a, you know, like, you know, very sharp, sharp feeling in a way. But Oscar kind of like rounded it up. Uh, concrete is like the main main material that he uses in his um, in his work. With the concrete, they were able to do all kind of forms that they couldn't do before. This is the typical typical Niemeyer uh, building. <laughs> it's very strange because I, I don't know if you've noticed, like uh, most of the surrounding. It's really like all the trees, everything is so maintained, but the buildings and the constructions themselves are kind of like really getting from worse to worse. So the people that are not from Tripoli, especially the Beirutis, um, have no idea if, that there, this space exists in Tripoli. So I'd like more Lebanese to discover Tripoli. You know, and break uh, this taboo.